everyone, this is Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today I have an original and special project to share with you. My friends Will and Sophie asked me if it was possible to cut vinyl with my Cricut to identify their boat. So I'll give you all the details on how to proceed if you wish to do the same. First, what type of vinyl should you use to apply to a boat? Well, first of all, you obviously need a permanent vinyl. As the decal will be really under the weather a lot, I opted for what is called a marine grade vinyl. This is the Oracle 751. I invite you to check out my blog to see the differences between Oracle 651, you know, the one we use when we do crafts, and 751. And if you're in Canada, I have a place for you where you can get it without having to buy a full roll. The link will be in the description of this video. In Design Space, I first want to show you what I've done to optimize the image. The logo was created by a designer and sent to me as an SVG file. So this is what it looks like and it's pretty cute. So the first thing I did is I scaled it to the maximum height I could do on my mat, which is 11.5 inches. And as you can see, I cannot go very further than 20 inches. I thought it, I could do better, I could do bigger. And I thought that if I just uh, angled the design like this, I would be able to get more into the mat. So that's what I did. And my friends can still angle it when they put in their boat. In order to maximize the size of the design, I decided to uh, remove the flamingo and cut it apart. So let me show you if I go further up. That's what I did. I removed the angle and I got the flamingo on another layer. If I scale it to 11.5, well, I can go all the way to 21 inches wide. So this is way bigger than what I had before. And this is really the maximum I can do on a Cricut mat. And also, I will cut the flamingo on another piece, on another mat, so it will enable me to really go as big as I can. Now, if you're wondering how I remove the flamingo, well, it's pretty easy. Let me show it to you very fast. So this is the, the original one. I just need to duplicate it to have two of them, and I will use contour. So contour will enable you to choose what you want. So I'm going to hide all contour, and I'm going to only keep uh, the flamingo on this one so make sure you don't keep the inside and i will remove this and i think i have it it's pretty confusing i know i always get mixed up so i have the flamingo on this one and for the other part you're going to do the opposite so you're going to get contour and instead you're going to hide all contour instead of the flamingo you're going to keep this one all the letters like this I think we got them all if you're not sure you go like this oh we did so that's perfect so I got the both of them separated like that so that's what we're gonna do let's go and click on make it and at that time I didn't have a Cricut Maker 3 now I do so I have to select matte because I cannot cut without matte on this kind of vinyl this is marine grade vinyl and it does not come with uh, Cricut's materials so let's go and cut it on a matte so you can see here that the first mat is pretty uh, full and then on the second mat you have this little flamingo and I don't know why it's not optimizing it. <laughs> I really want to optimize it better so I'm going to rotate it holding the shift key it will lock in place and I will be putting it right here. So as you can see I have like almost 7 inches here of material and this is not totally 24 so I ordered uh, 3 feet. Of vinyl and it did perfectly and fit perfectly on for the two uh, designs and I thought it was cool because I ordered only three feet of vinyl with the transfer sheet and with the shipping it only cost $25 which is not really expensive for a boat decal so <laughs> I thought it was cool so let's continue I will show you what to use for cutting the vinyl because as you might think that this vinyl is higher quality it is not thicker it is thinner so you cannot cut it with the same setting as you do cut the Oracle 651 so what I use I did some tests and I strongly suggest that you do some tests too I will put the link to the video to how to do a test vinyl, uh, test cut on the vinyl but seriously you have way enough space to make a little test cut right here on the corner to make sure that when you go press the go button it will cut perfectly you don't want to waste it so i'm going to browse material and 
it is not Cricut vinyl, but I will still use the premium vinyl uh, setting. And what I will use is premium outdoor vinyl, not premium regular vinyl, but premium outdoor vinyl. So this is the one I'm going to use and it did cut perfectly. So when it's time to weed, and since this is a really large area, it is always best to take it by sections, cutting the vinyl with scissors in a few places. It's a lot easier that way, trust me. From here, I send the decal to my friends who kindly filmed the process for me. So when applying transfer paper over a large area, it is best to remove only part of the backing. You can line up with the grid to make sure you're really perpendicular. You wouldn't want to get to the other end to find that the decal isn't completely covered. My friend Will did this like a pro. However, I forgot to tell him to use a credit card to scratch the transfer paper. It's totally my fault. But he told me it worked really well anyway. For both applications, and as a matter of fact, for any vinyl application, the surface should always be cleaned first with rubbing alcohol. If you were wondering why the transfer paper was protruding out earlier, you have the answer right here. By keeping the backing, Will was able to position the decal as he wanted before pressing down on the protruding portion of the transfer paper. In addition, he positioned painter's tape so as to align the top of the transfer paper with it. So brilliant. And I wasn't even the one who suggested it. <laughs> so if you also think that this is a brilliant idea, give this video a thumbs up. When removing the transfer paper, it's always best to pull parallel to the decal, exactly as seen here. There were a few bubbles and creases in the vinyl, but afterward, he gently rubbed with a credit card and was able to flatten everything off. And the final touch? The little flamingo. So cute. The decal has been installed for two months now, and it is still in a perfect condition. I hope this inspired you and convinced you that you can do it too. On that note, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.